Hello everyone, this is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, and today I'm going to show you a really simple trick to help you organize your photos on your Mac. Now I apologize, technically, absolutely, this video should have been covered under the recent class that I did called Tricks to Organize Your Photos. If you missed that class, I will give you a link to it, uh, either that you can click on at the end of this video, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, or you can go into the description of the video and I'll give you a link there. So I want to set up what we're doing today. This is uh, going to help correct a problem that I know a lot of you have experienced. So before there was the application that is currently now known as Photos, there was another app made by Apple called iPhoto. And one of the features that was within iPhoto was a feature called Events. And it seemed like a good idea at the time, I'm sure for Apple, but for a lot of us, it was just kind of inconvenient. So basically what this, this feature did, called events, was it would take uh, a bunch of your photos that were shot around similar times, similar dates, similar locations, uh, and it would group them automatically together. And basically when you migrated your photo library from iPhoto to Photos, it took those events and converted them into albums. Now, if you've taken my class before, one of the things that you know is that you can delete albums without any problem. You're not going to lose the photos. The only exception to that rule is a smart album, which it will. So if you delete an album, uh, you're, not, you're not deleting the actual photos within it. So now let me open up my application here so I can start to walk you through what we're doing here. On the left-hand side of my screen, one of the things you'll see here is albums. And for a lot of you out there, just follow along with me. I, I have to kind of verbally set this up. One of the things that you will likely find here within albums is you're going to find something that says iPhoto, only for those of you who've been using a Mac more than a couple of years. And within iPhoto, it'll have a little drop down arrow like you see here. You will see a million little events and they're all very likely going to be dates. Now, if you were to try to wipe these out one by one, it would take you forever. Here's the here's why, watch this. Let's say I take this album and I try to delete it, okay? I gotta, first of all, I can't just hit the delete key. I got a secondary click on it. I gotta hit delete album. That's asking me, are you sure you wanna delete this album? And you have to hit delete. Now that's easy enough. But if you were using iPhoto for years and it did that for you every single week, you're going to be doing this for a very, very long time. So let me show you a fast way to do it. So what you're going to do is just imagine that you're following along here. Okay, here where it says My Albums, imagine that says iPhoto. If you click from this view, you have an opportunity to wipe these out all at once. So check this out. Imagine all of these are those sample dates. Well, I've taught you many times before the trick for multiple selection on a Mac. So watch this. I can hold the command key, click on each of these, or technically I could click on the first, hold shift, click on the last. So now, for example, we've got four uh, albums selected. And now when I hit the delete key, Boom, they're gone. By the way, just to prove to you that those photos are not actually deleted, just kind of take a mental snapshot of that first image right there. So watch this. We hit delete, and now we go back to the photo library. And check it out. There it is. So while this trick isn't going to remove any photos, it's not going to free up any space, it is going to help you in terms of getting organized because now you're just going to be left with the albums that you actually created. By the way, I'm going to give you a little bonus tutorial today for those of you who actually watched the entire video. Applause. Good for you. Uh, so I want to teach you a little trick. This is a very, very common issue that a lot of people don't realize that they even have uh, that is taking up unnecessary space on their Mac. Going back to what I just referred to, when you originally had iPhoto and converted your entire photo library over to Photos, there's a very simple thing that a lot of people never did. See, when you do that, when you migrate a library, it does not delete the original library. So what I would suggest that you all consider doing is on your Mac, you're going to go into either your home folder or you're going to look basically within the home folder, you're going to look for this folder called pictures. So in mine, you can see here, mine does in fact just say photos. But for a lot of you, if you go into this folder, Check and see if your iPhoto library is still there. If that is the case, 
Uh, like I said, in order to get a photos library, you had to migrate it. So it's taking up unnecessary space. If you see an iPhoto library there, you can most likely delete it, which may save you some significant space on your Mac. Thank you for watching, everyone. Keep in mind, if you would ever like to take a private lesson with yours truly, I am more than happy to do so. Uh, a lot of folks hire me to clean up their computer or whatever it is. Uh, you can hire me right through my website at techtalkamerica.com. Just go to the little private lessons page, and you can book online entirely through there. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America. Class dismissed.